Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, our setup looks a little different here because today's video is going to be a little different. I'm going to show you around our homeschool room and show you some of the new things that I have implemented and kind of some new systems that I have set up. So be sure to stick around. Today's video is actually a collab, so that's why it's coming out a day early. Uh, normally, you guys would get this video tomorrow, but um, yeah, you're getting it today. Devine from Calm in the Chaos and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool, uh, they are hosting this collab. So I will leave uh, links to their channels in the description as well as the playlist link. So everyone's going to be sharing their homeschool spaces. Uh, sometimes that looks like a cart. Sometimes it's a cube organizer in a living room or a dining room. Some people have rooms. It looks different. So I am sure you will be able to find some sort of setup that is similar to yours uh, and hopefully you will be able to find a little bit of inspiration. Those of you who have been around for a little while, this room doesn't look significantly different to you. Uh, that's because it's not significantly different. Um, sorry, I normally have this on a stand um, and I don't because we're about to take a little stroll. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I mean, I did not you know, go on Pinterest and buy all the things and redecorate and make this a Pinterest worthy room. Uh, it's not, it's functional. Uh, it is within, you know, the things that we were able to, uh, you know, get within our budget, things that I liked. I got stuff in here that's hand-me-downs from like forever ago. This is just a normal room. We do use a spare bedroom in our home. Um, because that's what works for us. Uh, we have the space. Uh, this room serves multiple purposes. Uh, and so, yeah, it's our homeschool room, but it's also like our office. Uh, a little bit of that closet is now a little bit of our master bedroom closet because that closet is small. So we just, we make do with what we've got. So I will kind of walk you around, uh, show you a couple of the new things. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. All right, starting off strong, we have a door. Uh, <laughs> we're just gonna move over to this wall here. As you guys see, I have the dry erase board there. Um, and you can see this is what we use it for. I use it for a multitude of things, um, but there is uh, our spelling. So these are spelling words we're working on this week, the spelling focus for the week. And then this, uh, what my daughter needed to copy that down for um, uh, one of her uh, pages in the unit. So uh, we have the Pledge of Allegiance here. I have, this is, it says preschool prayer, um, but I just thought it was a cute little prayer. Honestly, I don't even know where it came from. Um, yeah, so it's up there. Uh, <laughs> our seat work pages too from... Our units, they get clipped up there so I don't forget them because I'm really good at that. This handwriting alphabet, if I can link some of these things for you, I will. Uh, if there's something specific that you want link, I, a link for, just comment and I will try and get it for you. But this came from Amazon. I like this because it's all of the... Um, uppercase and lowercase letters and then also your numbers here and it gives you like the directions it has like the um the lines I don't know these lines what you call them like primary or preschool lines or whatever they are but I like that for that reason my daughter uses that often this used to be red <laughs> why I bought it red I don't know but I've had it forever I got it from Hobby Lobby um, so I just have it hanging here. I've kind of redone this a little bit. So obviously I have my Expo markers and my erasers there. Uh, and then in here, these are obviously just those little zipper pouch bags. So we've got crayons in one and then we have colored pencils in the other. Uh, I do need to get another one for 
markers. I found this works better. I was originally trying to use like containers, um, you know, for my daughter to take in and out, but the space here doesn't really work well for that. And I found that this is just easier. She can easily take these in and out and they're not gonna fall and spill or anything. So um, yeah, that has worked there. Uh, this is just extra math like flashcards, nothing crazy. And then her notebook that she works on every day. This is where we do spelling and things like that. Um, this, I had great, grand, big, wonderful plans for that. And, and all of those have fallen through. Um, <laughs> I, I was going to use it for spelling and vocab and, and all that stuff. But these little slots here, they're only made for the... Um, kit like it was like a whole kit thing that came together you're supposed to have the month at the top and then each one of these are the dates so it's supposed to be a calendar well I didn't get it the calendar pieces because I didn't want it for calendar pieces I didn't want it for a calendar uh turns out nothing else fits in those uh so it's just been sitting there collecting dust because I can't figure out what else to do with it um other than make the things to fit in and nothing fits index cards you still have to trim it's a whole big thing so I don't know I don't know reading chair or listening chair just you know another comfy place to sit there my dead garden out there let's not pay attention to that um we are currently doing Australia and Oceania so just as we go through the different areas my daughter's been coloring those in her reading stash, that obviously will go away once summer reading goes away. And then this is just like some essentials here. Uh, those must have snuck in here. Imagine that. All right, moving on. So now we're clearly in the center of the room. These two things I actually thrifted. Uh, this table was supposed to be um, a coffee table. Like it was advertised as a coffee table. It actually worked really great for my daughter and for the size of this room. And then this chair is actually pretty cool. I talked about it before. It's a handmade chair from like 1940s. Um, same thing with that. I just thrifted it. It was a good price considering prices of chairs. I didn't realize they were so expensive. Um, so found that one. These are um, actually Ikea spice rack shelves, I think, that I painted and did a little distressing to. Uh, these are books that I will pick out and set out specifically for the unit or obviously like this, a holiday. You know, some specific books that I want to pull out um, and use, I will we'll put those there. This is Mom's Command Center. Uh, so this has... All the things, obviously, you know, cabinet, printer, all that good stuff. Apparent, we were playing um, restaurant earlier, so that's my money left over. Lots of cash there. Um, <laughs> anyways, on to bookshelves. Um, so these are from Target. Uh, same thing, if I can link them for you guys, I will. All of these books were in here. <laughs> so it was definitely time to get another bookshelf. That middle shelf was struggling. Um, and yeah, so I kind of separated them out there. One new thing that I have done and so far has been very, very helpful. So these things were given to me uh, just by a friend of mine. Each one of these is a unit that is coming up next. So... This is for Africa, space, um, South America, and botany. Um, and basically what I will do is I will just go through here, our bookshelves, and I will pull out any of the books that I anticipate uh, using for that unit, and I put them in here. It gives me a visual so I can actually see how many books we have, what they are, um, at any point, if I'm on the computer, I can look over. If I see a book that looks really great that's about space, I can see that that one's pretty full and I probably don't need any more space books. But I could use, you know, a botany book or two. However, um, and then when the time comes, I will take these out. I will move them here 
because then now we have moved on and we're doing Africa. And then I will just shimmy this. So I will take this, shimmy it down, and then I will work on our next unit, you know, whatever that will be. I will pull out what we have, put it in there. Um, and that just, that keeps it an even rotation and I can actually see what we have, make sure there are plenty of books. Um, and I'm not overspending, like obviously space. We got lots of space books. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Um, and like I said, so far it has worked really nice. I'll keep you up. I do want to show you guys this. So here's a little, it says to mom, right? Oh, see if I can do this with one hand. Be careful. Okay. And then the back says, I love you. And this is supposed to, these are supposed to be kisses. The K anyways. So I opened this earlier. I saw this, but I didn't really pay attention to it. Cause let's be honest, there are sticky notes and notes all over the place, but I opened it and she got me. She scared me because she tied this on here so like it would pull on the door you know and I would get confused but I just pulled the door open and it popped and it like kind of popped out and yeah it scared me so anyways um remember how I said this is like my master closet there you go there's random things in there from my closet but there's a lot more space so if you guys watched my last homeschool um room tour uh this this shelving unit was full and this shelving unit was full so I cleared up out just about everything that was here and then now I have space to to kind of organize from my master closet and put in here y'all we still ain't got rid of the shelf or the paint can or that thing so you know it happens um, <laughs> and then here is just homeschool supplies um, naturally everything is labeled hashtag homeschool mom. Um, but yeah, I mean, just, I have paper here. I have morning basket supplies, um, which I need to actually go through that cause we don't do morning basket anymore. Um, so I need to see what is in there that I'm missing out on, um, pencils, extra crayons, all, just all all the things down here. This is our next unit. So obviously we have Africa coming up. I have a bin for things that need to be filed. The mask is not one of those, but you know, whatever. Uh, and then just some more filing things down here. I will have a whole video coming out on our records keeping system because that's really what that's about. I'm going to close this and this is what you guys are used to seeing back here is this um, cube organizer. Y'all don't really see much of those, but my cute little shelves up there. So these puzzles, my daughter actually did those. Um, and she really liked them and she wanted to keep them. Uh, and so I came up with this idea to put them in frames and put them in here because they're, they're cool. Um, and obviously they kind of fit with homeschooling and all that stuff. Our 50 Cities book uh, and just some you know, some decor, make it, make it pretty in here. Right. Uh, our calendar, she loves this little thing. A friend of mine gave me this, um, and she loves it. This is our basket. That's got all of our curriculum and things in it. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then we move on to the cube, more curriculum. This is the new stuff. These are just like extra things. This is oil pastels and uh, that is um, expo markers. And then these are magnetic letters, which are pretty cool. And then these are read alouds, hopefully for this coming year, um, a jar of erasers. These are more books that will potentially read aloud um, or that I just got them while they were on sale because I wanted to read them at some point. Who was books, of course, the story of books, of course, and then these are just some more free kind of later read aloud book kind of deal. And that's it. That is the homeschool room tour. So there you have it. That's it. That's the room. Um, yeah, I, the new bookshelf. I'm really excited about that. And the book, um, like pulling out books for the unit and having them already set out 
love that. Um, I don't see where that would would not work. You know, I can't think of a of a reason that that would turn out to not be a good idea. But you know, stranger things have happened. So, um, yeah, that's currently what we have. Kind of how we operate, um, at least at this point. Um, and yeah, I mean. Like I said, everyone everyone's looks different, right? We do have a spare room in our home and it serves many purposes for us. And I'm just trying to utilize the space as best I can. Um, but if you don't have a room or you don't have space to, to do this, you know, where, where you've got a, a large bookshelf and you can organize books and all of that stuff, don't get upset, don't get stressed or overwhelmed. There are lots of options. Again, I will have the playlist in the description for you. I am quite sure you will find some other things in there, um, you know, some other systems and, and organization and things that, you know, you would be able to use. Um, if you do have a larger space, um, then hopefully this was helpful to you. Uh, like I said, I will have some videos coming out on um, how we're doing records keeping, at least how I plan on doing records keeping. Um, and then I think there was something else. No, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. But that was our room tour. Don't forget to check out the playlist. Uh, yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.